It's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. We are in the photo studio at the Babyliss Pro uh, headquarters here in Connecticut. And we have with us Kelly Baker Browse, who is transforming a model before our eyes. Uh, we're doing a special look um, focusing on the 50s. And Kelly, tell us what you're doing. So we are now taking Yaya from earlier. We did a, a shot where she was modern 50s. So now we're taking her to the actual 50s. So earlier we bleached her brows and you guys will see that shot later. And now I'm covering the bleached out brow and I'm filling them in with my products and making her a natural brow or natural, more natural color. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit darker. So, it, so she looks like Marilyn Monroe. So it's looking awesome already, but we literally bleached out her brows completely and uh, we're just brushing it out and covering it up with a pencil, with my brown brow pencil. And then I'm gonna put a tinted gel on her and it, I'm trying to make them look natural, but I still wanna give her that extra point, like the little Marilyn point on top. Looks cool. So, so when you're, I mean, this is actually what we do in hair. We'll bleach out the hair and then tone it back to what we want. Is this what you're suggesting for makeup artists now with brows? I'm not not necessarily. Um, I mean, bleach can be a funny, you know, product to use. It can be orange a lot of times. So this is really just for our shoot. Um, but you can definitely do it if you have darker brows or you want to kind of like soften the look. But I kind of suggest not to. I suggest products to get the perfect look because you never know what you're going to get. All right. So tell us, what is your favorite product or tool in your line? I would have to say my highlighter and my smudge brush, these actually go together and this is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go right underneath her brow and make it nice and perfect. And this lifts the brow, defines the brow. It's good for any age. It's good if you have makeup on or no makeup at all. You can wear it to the gym. And if you want it softer, you just blend it out. But this is, my clients named this the magic stick. They're obsessed with it. And I go, I wear it myself every day, no matter what. And if you go to the gym, I mean, it, obviously right now she has makeup on and she has her brows filled in, but you can just do a little tiny bit of the highlighter underneath and it's gonna make her brows pop and make her look awake. So see, even right now it looks very natural, but it's still giving her that lift. So that's everyone's favorite Product. And you do it, you are actually applying it to a brush. You would never do this well, stick actually, as it. No, actually for my entire career of 15 years of doing brows, I always taught everyone to draw it on. But one day I realized that it was not sharp and I didn't have my sharpener. So I took my smudge brush and went right in it. And now I'm teaching everyone to do it the opposite way because less is actually more. And then you guys have less product to blend in and it's easier for you. So we're just going to go. And she still has makeup on too from earlier, from the last part of the shoot that we did. And then I'm actually gonna make it a shade darker. So this is the mid look, like this would be more natural, but I'm gonna go one shade darker like Marilyn had to give her, you know, more of the iconic look. We'll do that with my, I'm going to attempt to use the tinted brow gel. So this is my newest product, which is super awesome. You guys are gonna see it's gonna get darker. So since we, since we bleached her brows, this is staining her skin and catching the hair. And they're always gonna make them look fuller and bigger. And if you guys have grays in your brows, this is the perfect, perfect, perfect solution to cover the grays. Because a lot of times regular hair dye doesn't really catch the grays. And this is just, you know, is a day use and it gets right on that area. Look how cool that is. I'm still gonna go one shade darker. How long do you suggest makeup artists spend on the brows? When when a client comes into the salon, what, what would you suggest? Um, I honestly, the very first thing I do is my brows. The brows are the focal point. It's what everyone sees and notices. Men notice brows. Everyone notices brows. And it's definitely the most popular trend right now for sure is having nice big, you know, well, they don't even have to be big, just nice brows, whatever size they are. Um, but I spent the most time probably just making sure my brows are perfect 10 minutes. I know it sounds kind of long. Um, the better you get, you know, you keep trying it, you'll get better and better. My products are super easy to use and I, I purposely make them so that everyone at home can do it themselves. Pretty cool. That's so great. And then just slowly go from side to side so we can see the difference. 
the other way. Ah, oh, Miss Kelly Baker Browse. That's what we've been wanting to call her all day. That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> that's your, is that is that on your birth certificate, Kelly Baker Browse? It will be on my death certificate. <laughs> Wasn't on my birth certificate, just regular Kelly with an EY, but it will be on my tombstone probably. Well, it's so cool. Thank you for giving us this time and have a great shoot today. Thank you. All right, we'll see you. Bye.